Before I get started, please subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on any new material that I'm going to be producing in the future. And that helps us grow the channel, grow more content, and help people like you. Okay, so uh, let's have a look. So I know that I need the output um, to be a slice of integers. Uh, and I, I'm going to uh, do this trick of uh, starting with a zero size slice, but has, that has the underlying array, which is full. So I don't do a lot of intermediate allocations um, during that, okay? So now, um, for um, I'm creating a channel. And for, for every value, now I'm going to do the, the go routine. So I need to convert the integer to a time dot duration, uh, time dot milli millisecond. And then I'm going to uh, send the value to the channel. Right, and I'm going to call this function with the value. I'm avoiding the bug that we saw earlier with uh, catching uh, the value from the closure. So I'm creating a function that gets some kind of a, a parameter and I'm passing this parameter to the function. So each one will get its own. And now um, I can do for uh, i equal uh, zero, i uh, less than len of uh, values, i plus plus. Um, I'm getting the channel and then uh, out equal append out and value. And finally, I'm going to return the outputs. Okay, so um, set up every go routine. Uh, for every value, I spin a go routine that slips and then send the value over the channel. And at the end, I'm collecting all the values. Mm -hmm. 